Verifying trade identity is the biggest issue that ends up coming up. Okay, what can I do as I'm looking at a problem? And really, there are three things that we should be kind of looking for uh, in, in terms of doing a problem. So first is just some basic algebra. I mean, that can be anything from, you know, combining like terms um, to maybe stuff like uh, factor factoring or maybe foiling. Um, it could be even things with uh, fractions. So like, you know, getting a common uh, denominator for putting fractions together or maybe even splitting a fraction up. Uh, if there's any basic algebra that you can do, uh, that's what we're going to try to look at first. Uh, the other thing we're going to look at is anything with a Pythagorean identity. So all of these Pythagorean identities over here, anytime you have something with a 1 and something squared, a Pythagorean identity is showing up there. Or the big one, like sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Uh, those are the big Pythagoreans. But if all else fails and you can't find anything else you can possibly do, you can look at turning into sine and cosine, meaning anything that doesn't have a sine or cosine, so like tangent, for example, equals sine over cosine, or secant equals 1 divided by cosine. Those are the different like reciprocal and quotient identities to use to make the problem easier uh, by getting everything into just those two trig functions. So with that, let's look at these two uh, basic examples to start and just show exactly how we're going to do this. So in this first problem, uh, I don't have much of a uh, algebra. I don't have any like terms I can try to do or fractions. Uh, there's nothing squared, so there's no Pythagorean identities. However, and if all else fails, I can turn things into sine and cosine. So tangent, for example, is equal to sine over cosine. Cosine itself, well, that's just already cosine, so that's fine. And cosecant is 1 over sine. So what I can do now is, well, hey, maybe some algebra now. I have things that can cancel out. I have cosine on top and bottom. I have sine on top and bottom. Everything cancels out, so I'm just left with a 1. And that equals what I wanted from the other side. That's good. That means I've done my problem correctly, and I am complete and done. Look at this other example. Uh, same sort of thing. Is there any algebra I can do? Um, you know, maybe if this had been also a cosine, then I could have combined two things together and been like, okay, combining those like terms, but they're separate. So no real algebra here, no factoring I can pull out, anything like that. Um, I do have something that's squared though. So what I'm going to do is, well, hey, look, maybe I can take this uh, cosine squared and use my Pythagorean identity. My Pythagorean identity here is I can call cosine squared equals to one minus sine squared. And maybe I'll just keep this sine squared being the same. Now, this is where uh, things can get maybe hairy if you're not paying attention. Because I could also change this sine squared. I could have called it 1 minus cosine squared using that same identity. But that didn't really gain us anything. If I then combine those, I would end up with a minus sine squared here and a plus cosine squared here. That's the exact same thing as what I began with. Just the terms are flipped around. So that doesn't help me much. Well, let's take a look at what I'm trying to get to in my answer. I want something that has cosine squared. Well, okay, so why would I want to change a cosine squared if I wanted to get into cosine squared? So use your answer to help you, guide you in what you want to try to do. So I'm going to keep this cosine squared the same and just change my minus sine squared. Okay, there's a Pythagorean identity. Let's do some basic algebra. Cosine squared, it's minus 1, and now plus cosine squared. Can I do any sort of other algebra? Yes, okay, well, I have two cosine squareds, and I have a minus 1. So I have a minus 1 plus 2 cosine squared theta. Well, let's take a look at what I'm trying to find. Well, hey, look, are those the exact same? Well, yes, they technically are, but do they look the exact same? Actually, no, I need to make it so it's the exact same on the left as it is on the right, just by flipping those terms around in this case. That means I'm good once I have my manipulated left side answer is equal to my right side answer. Same steps every time. See if you can solve those puzzles.